Last week was the annual harvest season festivity week in India. People across the country celebrated this year's agricultural produce under different regional names and expressed gratitude to the sun, also considered a deity in Hinduism for the same. We bring you one such festivity, Pongal. Celebrated in the southern part of the country, Pongal holds a unique cultural heritage that has been in existence for hundreds of years. The zeal and revelry during the festival is a sight to watch. Have a look. It is no usual morning in Trichy, an ancient town in India's southern Tamil Nadu, where the air is thick with excitement and anticipation. An exclusive colourful event of cultural rituals is set to follow later in the day. People have decorated their homes with mesmerizing artworks. A rangoli outside each one of them has set the tone for the festival of fervor and revelry. Families could be seen preparing for the festival in their courtyards. The preparation of rice and earthen pot decorated with flowers is the most important aspect of the festival. People pray and thank Surya, the sun god, for the bountiful harvest. People say overflowing rice and milk symbolize profusion of good luck, prosperity and optimistic future. It's believed that this four-day festival brings harmony and peace in people's lives. It is a basically a harvest festival. It is celebrated for four days in the midday of Tamil Nadu, the January every year. First day we celebrated Pogi Pongal and second day we celebrated Surya Pongal and third day we celebrated Matu Pongal and Kanu Pongal. It is celebrated to thank for the God, Sun God and Lord Indra for helping the farmer. This adoring view is of Rameshwaram, another town in Tamil Nadu. Devotees are bathing in holy Agni Tirtham Sea. With the belief that taking a dip in the sea washes away sins, devotees from all over the world reach the site to celebrate Pongal on its shores. Huge crowds of pilgrims are visiting Sri Ramanatha Swami Temple. It is believed that shivling present at this Rameshwaram Temple were brought here by Ravana from Kailash Parbat. Around 400 kilometers away in Coimbatore, people perform indigenous dance forms to narrate the folklore associated with the festival. People say the devotion quotient is so high during the performance that they do not feel any pain even during dancing bare feet. We used to uh, debit all the traditional uh, cultures here. So today also, uh, oil atom, kumi atom, like that, uh, the traditional the uh, cultures have been depicted uh, for the benefit of the youngsters. Another aspect of the festival, the most thrilling one, is Jalikattu. The bull taming festival when people try to control bulls and pluck away prizes, usually attached to their sharpened horns. Quintessential to the culture of the land, Jalikattu is enjoyed by one and all. <laughs> 